Hi, my name is Kyle Diaz, and I'm the regional sales manager for E&M in the Pacific Northwest. And I'm joined today by Dan Stewart. He's one of our local product specialists uh, for Siemens covering uh, the Pacific Northwest and specifically based in the Seattle area. And we're here to talk to you today about uh, the Siemens S7-1200 line of PLCs. One question that we get a lot from customers when they're considering an, a new uh, project is, how is this going to communicate with existing devices that I might already have um, in my facility or on my factory floor? Uh, so we're going to talk about some of the ways that you can uh, utilize the power of the 1200 to communicate with um, the equipment that you already have. So the 1200 is a, uh, a very flexible and cost-effective PLC from, from Siemens, and the primary communication path is uh, fundamentally Ethernet, correct, Dan? That's correct. I mean, even starting with a, the lowest end 1200 through the 1500 products, Ethernet port is integrated in. It depends on how many ports, how many different connections are available, depends on the processor. So our preferred way of, uh, our preferred communication for that is Profinet, obviously, which if you're a Siemens user, you know the many benefits of Profinet. It's a fast and flexible way to communicate between devices that support it. Um, what are some of the other benefits of Profinet that people should be aware of? Dan? One of them you might think of is, uh, it's called iDevice. And iDevice allows the control of I.O. and monitoring of I.O. of other controllers and it's done within the I.O. scan. It's not done on communication. You don't have to write a lot of code to make it happen. It's automatic one and it's actually built into the CPU. It's a checkbox. And that's a really fast way to get I.O. data, correct? Absolutely. It's going to be at the same I.O. scans as remote I.O. and everything else. What about safety? We can do, uh, if you have a safety PLC, then you can do Profi-Safe protocol over Profinet, which allows communication to drives, remote I.O., other scanning devices. That all kind of makes sense. You have Siemens Preferred Communication Channel, Siemens PLC, mostly Siemens hardware. Um, those things should all talk to each other pretty easily. Um, what if I want to talk to an Allen Bradley PLC? Well, there's actually a way using OpenTCP. They have a library functions that are available for the 1200 or 1500. And on the Rockwell side, we have an add-on instruction. And that basically allows you to set up the communications to pass information back and forth between the two platforms. That could be control logics, could be compact logics, could be guard logics. So Siemens wrote the code both for the uh, Siemens PLC side and also the add-on instructions for the Rockwell side. Correct. And he actually put a big application note together that helps explain and it's supported by Siemens. What about Modbus TCP? Modbus TCP is part of the library in TI Portal. It's native. So if we had devices such as power meters or process instrumentation or even a Schneider PLC, Modbus TCP communications is a standard and there's a lot of other devices out there. So that information can be basically communicated back and forth from this processor. So we've been talking about what you can do basically via the ethernet port that's on all flavors of the 1200 CPU. But you could add cards onto this as well, right? So what is it, IO over here, comms cards over here? Correct. So how many communication cards can you have? You can have up to three communication cards. We do a VPN connection here. We can also do Profibus Master or Profibus Slave. We can also do RFID, DNP3, can open, uh, cellular, just quite a variety of different types of communication cards. What about serial communications? You do that with an add-on card as well? Correct. Yeah. We can do RS-232, RS-422 or 45. In fact, to talk to older devices, say they just talk Modbus RTU, uh, we can be a master slave. That's part of our standard library, so we can, that's already, the block's already written for that. We can do USS protocol, ASCII protocol, of all sorts. Hopefully this sparks some ideas about how you can you know integrate the 1200 into your factory environment. Uh, if it does we'd love to talk to you further and come out and um, and take a look at what you're running and what you're trying to do. Um, so hit the button there that says uh, that you'd like a visit from your local E&M product specialist and we can talk in more detail. Thank you Dan. Thank you.